Hello guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be having the fifth episode of our medical coding game. I am the medical coding cop. Before we continue, 70% of the people who watch my videos are not yet subscribed to this channel. Click that subscribe button now and receive a 5 item exam practice by sending an email on your screen with proof of subscription. It will help this channel a lot by providing tips and techniques for your exam preparation. For today's episode, we'll be having the 3000 series which is for cardiovascular system. Okay, so we still have two categories left cardiovascular and the digestive system but the first question for today for cardiovascular system is diagnosis the patient uh, is diagnosed with coronary artery disease likely due to atherosclerosis which resulted to mi given the extent and severity of the coronary artery disease cabg is recommended as the preferred treatment option the patient undergoes successful cabg with three graphs two veins, one artery. Place to bypass the blocked coronary arteries, two saphenous vein, and one radial artery were used. Okay, time's up. For this question, guys, you should know the guidelines for coding CABG or coronary arterial bypass graft. It's quite simple. All you need to do is to count how many arteries, always start with your artery, and then go and check if there are veins included or if it's just a vein only procedure. Okay, but in this case, we have two veins, one artery. Okay, so go to your CABG coding 33533. All right, count how many arteries uh, were used for this grafting. So you have single arterial graft. Okay, so 33533 3, 3 shall be your first code. Eliminate A, eliminate delta. Next, after checking the arterial graph, check how many veins were used. In this case, you have two veins. Okay, so go to your add-on codes. Do not go to your vein-only code located here under 33510 onwards. Because this is only strictly for vein-only CABG. But since it's a combination, you have to go to combined AV grafting for CABG or coronary uh, artery bypass graft. So you have your 33517, but this is only for a single vein. How many veins were used? Two. 33518 shall be coded. You have it here. So basically, if you are going to do the process of elimination, most probably you will fall under letter C. Okay, three three five zero nine five one. So take notes when coding for CABG. You need to check as well uh, the harvested veins and arteries, whether you will code it or not. In this case, two saphenous vein graft and one radial artery uh, arterial graft were used. So for saphenous vein graft, again, just simply check the guidelines here located in the paragraph. You have your guidelines here for procurement of the saphenous vein graft it's already included with your code set so no need for you to report it but for your radial artery it's mentioned here you should code it all right so other types of artery that will be harvested will not be coded except if it's an upper extremity artery example of that is radial artery is procured so in this case you will be coding 33509 for that if you go there that's your uh, normal uh, harvesting this 35600 is the endoscopic procedure okay so we'll be choosing letter C very easy for your first question congratulations this one should be eight all right let's now proceed to your next question this is about PTCA a therectomy was done percutaneously in the ramus intermedius and left anterior descending artery for a patient who has atherosclerosis Percutaneous transluminal balloon angioplasty is performed on the left main coronary artery. What are the codes for this scenario? 
Timer starts now. All right. This is quite a lengthy question, all right? But again, if you uh, get this type of questions, um, I highly suggest you skip it if you don't know the concept about this because you will have a hard time searching for the codes here one by one. But let's check how you're supposed to code this one. So this is a therectomy procedure that was done towards the ramus intermediates. That's your RI. Check your modifiers at the back portion of your cover page All right, for the coronary vessel. So basically we have five major coronary arteries. So again, the guidelines are located just in front or just before your 92920 code. So these are your PTCA or PCI procedures, okay? Now, the concept here is to check uh, if the doctor has done only balloon, PTCA, atherectomy, or stenting, or the doctor has done all, all right? Combination of your stent plus your atherectomy. But in this case, the doctor has done atherectomy only for the ramus intermediates and left anterior descending. So obtain the modifiers for that. Now, the concept here is for you to check if it's a major coronary vessel or it's just a branch, okay? Now, as uh, I've uh, highlighted here on your screen, you have left main, left anterior descending, and ramus intermediates, all right? All of those coronary vessels, all right, are mentioned here, okay? So here, just code whichever was done for the ramus intermediates. That's your atherectomy. So go to your 92924. All right, so here, atherectomy, coronary atherectomy for the major coronary artery or branch. But for the next code, you notice that you have 92924 for the, for the first three choices here. It's not 92920 because 92920 is only your balloon angioplasty. Eliminate that. Now, are you going to code... Another 92924, or are you going to code the add on code? At first, you might say that, hmm, yes, there's each additional uh, branch that was mentioned. Although it's mentioned like that, it's clearly stated here it's branch. Take note that your left anterior descending artery is not a branch, it is a major coronary artery. It's listed here, all right? So you want to use only the branches, okay, or the add-on codes if it's located here under this paragraph. So that's your key technique for coding your PTCA procedure. So basically, we'll be using the same code since we cannot use the add-on code here, all right? So we will be choosing 92924, okay? So please take notes. And then lastly, your 92920 for LM or left main coronary artery. So letter A is the best answer for this question. Congratulations. That's a super difficult question. But let's now proceed to a milder question. All right. Mr. Bateau is here for a scheduled modified maze for his atrial fibrillation. The physician used the cryoprobe to block the electric paths of the pulmonary veins in the right atrium. What's the code you will report? Time to start now. All right. For this question, guys, kindly take note if the term maze procedure was mentioned. Right, it's more of treatment of the rhythmic problem of the heart. All right, so it's going to be the electrical conductivity. So the doctor will do ablation, all right, of the tissues of the heart. Okay, so here what the doctor has done is the technique called modified maze. So it's a very easy procedure to code, but I'm not saying it's a non, uh, it's a, uh, a simple procedure by the doctor. It's easy to code, but it's a complex procedure. Okay. Let's go to your codes here and let's search your modified maze 33254. All right. So your 33254 is operative tissue ablation. All right. It's mentioned here. 
modified maze. Because if you want to choose 33255, that's your extensive maze or extensive approach for operative tissue ablation. It's mentioned modified maze. It's a limited op uh, operation only, okay? So we'll not be choosing 33255 and 33256. Now, are we going to code 33257 here? Let's check. What's that code? Operative tissue ablation and reconstruction performed at the time of other cardiac procedure. It was not done in conjunction with other procedure. And you will not be using this in conjunction with your codes here. All right? If it's done, for example, with a uh, procedure, let's say um, this one, 33533, so use this as your atom code. If modified maze was done in conjunction with this procedure. But since this is the only procedure that was done for today, you will choose 33254 as a standalone code. Letter C is the answer for this question. Congratulations. All right. Let's now proceed to the next one. The patient undergoes cardiac catheterization, which reveals significant stenosis in the right coronary artery. The decision is made to perform selective catheter placement to the right subclavian artery in order to access the right coronary artery and perform percutaneous coronary intervention. Only code for the catheter placement here. Timer starts now. Okay. So for this procedure, guys, it's a catheter placement. Remember, guys, for checking your catheter placement uh, under your vascular family, you can go and check that under Appendix L at the back portion of your CPT book here. Either you want to use this, but I don't like this one. I highly suggest use this table instead, okay? Because here, it will show you if it's first order, second order, or third order, or if it's going to be your main branch. So key concept for your selective catheter placement is to check whether it's the main vessel Main vessels are your thoracic aorta, vena cava, abdominal aorta, and so on. First order, second order, third. So just check. Where the catheter was placed, it's mentioned right subclavian artery. You don't need to have a super duper good background with cardiovascular system in order for you to get the answer here. So search right, right subclavian vein from the vascular family so it's mentioned artery right so go to the red table here right? because for blue or violet that's going to be for vein okay here you can either go if you're not aware of the anatomy of the vessels it's fine you can just check it one by one right and left coronary innominate left common carotid let's go to the second order right common carotid there you go right subclavian artery it's mentioned here Right subclavian. If you go, if you want to use the detailed image here, you can also use that. But yeah, see, it's very hard to memorize this, but the right subclavian vein is located here. So how are you going to identify this? Check the color here. Although it's uh, the color that you have here is almost the same with the fourth one, but just, just check. This is your main, right? So you branch out to your first order here. And then you branch out to the next branch, which right subclavian is located. So this will fall under your second order. Okay, so go back to your code set, uh, to your choices, 36215. So it's very straightforward here. So you just need to check if it's for first order, second order for the selective catheter placement. Okay, selective catheter, that means it's going to go beyond, all right, the main artery or the main vessel like first order second order third order three six two one five it's mentioned here first order it's not the first order as i mentioned earlier it's a second order branch three six two one six we can find it here three six two one seven let's check that's third order nothing was mentioned about the third order it's right subclavian artery only which is your second order vessel okay uh the answer for this one is boy 36216 
right subclavian artery catheter placement. Okay? Mm, right? So let's now proceed to the final question, and this is a little bit lengthy. This is your pacemaker. All right? There is a malfunction in the dual lead pacemaker system and the cardiologist will replace it. The pacemaker leads and electrodes are carefully removed from the pocket and the pacemaker is disconnected from the leads. The pocket is carefully explored to ensure complete removal of the old device. A new dual chamber pacemaker with electrode is then inserted through a small incision in the chest and placed in the same location. The leads are carefully guided through the veins in a and placed in the right atrium and right ventricle respectively. The leads are then connected to the pacemaker gen and proper function of the device is confirmed through pacing and sensing thresholds. Time starts now. All right, so for coding your pacemaker procedure, first, you have to check if it's a pacemaker device or your ICD, all right? So these two are different uh, devices. But they're almost the same in the appearance, okay? Now, uh, for coding your pacemaker in implantable cardiac defibrillator procedure, you have to check whether it's removal, replacement, upgrade, or the doctor will just remove the battery and replace it, all right? Or the doctor will be rep uh, repositioning, okay? So those are the keywords you want to check in this example. So again, uh, you need to uh, check as well. The, you need to be aware about the parts of your devices here. You have the battery here, pulse generator. You also have the leads that will go towards the heart chambers. You have the atrial lead if it's going to be placed towards the atrium. It's going to be your ventricular lead if it's going to be placed in the ventricles, okay? In this question, the pacemaker leads and electrodes were carefully removed from the pocket and the pacemaker generator is disconnected. So take note, when uh, you're coding for pacemaker uh, generator procedure, check if a new battery will be placed after the removal because the doctor can just remove the battery and the doctor can use the same because the doctor will just uh, replace the pacemaker itself and not the battery all right so please take notes here pacemaker generator was disconnected from the leads a new dual chamber pacemaker system all right was placed so remember guys there is a malfunction from the dual lead pacemaker so basically it's just a replacement all right of the same type of device dual chamber pacemaker system so check if it's 33213 or 33235 you want to code first let's find out the concept here is to check if it's ventricular or atrial lead that the doctor has replaced but in this case your 33213 code is for let's check the parent code here insertion of pacemaker pulse generator only the doctor did not place the battery only instead he has done a replacement so do not go this we're now down to letter D and C all right so for your letter D and C you have your 33235 so 33235 33235 so let's check right, there you go Removal of transvenous pacemaker electrode. Yes, that one was removed by the doctor as stated here. Pacemaker leads and electrodes were carefully removed. So you need to code this 33235 first. Okay, followed by your 33214 or 33208. Notice guys, I'm just comparing the choices here. Okay, it's going to be hard if you have um, similar choices and then there's just one code that will be different. Okay, but in this case, Good thing that your second uh, code from letter C and D is quite different. So you can easily identify which one is incorrect, okay? So you have your 33214. Let's check uh, your letter C first. Your 33214 is upgrade. Right. So upgrade, that means 
from single chamber pacemaker system to dual chamber system. Now, it's the same type of device that was replaced, right? So you won't be choosing upgrade. If you go to 33208, that's going to be your replacement, insertion of new or replacement of the dual lead system. So atrial and ventricular, insertion of new or replacement. Okay, so that's how you will be coding this pacemaker system. So just simply check if it's a removal, replacement, upgrade, repositioning, removal of the battery, removal of the electrodes, that's it. Okay, and please ensure that you are coding for the right type of device. So you have two types here as I mentioned earlier, the implantable cardiac defibrillator and your pacemaker system. The answer for this question is that they're doubts out. Congratulations for getting perfect score for today. I know cardiovascular requires time and effort, but you can do it, all right? So nothing is hard if you will practice. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about medical coding. Again, always remember, without knowledge, there is no power. Goodbye.